Halloween. Um, hopefully this video will be posted on Halloween. So you're seeing this on the 31st, unless you're across the world. But if you're in Canada, or the US, or Mexico, it's Halloween. <laughs> um, Halloween this year, I have been out one night, okay? I went out Saturday and I'm still dead and recovering. But I'm gonna go out tomorrow night and I made this absolutely iconic outfit. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial and breakdown on how I did it. To be honest, I meant to film this entire process and I had really good intentions of doing it, but then um, I was making the costume with my friend and just didn't film, so. Okay, so this costume comes from the inspo that Kendall Jenner did and I did watch a tutorial on how uh, Amber Scholl, love her, she did something similar. I went to go order the pieces because I'm not a DIY girly. Like, I can't look at something and be like, oh, I could totally recreate that. Um, and a lot of them were not available on Canadian Amazon. Like, she used these shoulder shawls and American Amazon, they were like 20 bucks a piece. Canadian, $95. And I was not paying that to DIY a costume. So I'm gonna show you guys, tell you guys, how I did it, what I did, what I ordered, everything will be linked down below. Um, this costume as well could easily be made into a couple's costume. So if you're a girl, you're making this, your boyfriend can throw on a sheet, boyfriend, husband, whatever your vibe is, throw on a sheet. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube and TikTok on how to, try, how to, how to tie a toga. So what I did was I just made the toga, tied it, and then we just used this rope um, to make it look more like Greek style. Anyways though, let's get into my costume insert image right here. Came to slay this year. I'm so proud of this one. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I made it, what I did, what I bought. That'll all be linked down below, but okay, not rambling. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with the bra. This is what I made. So what I did was I just took like an old bra that I didn't use anymore. I ordered a bunch of gold feathers. They'll be linked down below. Super easy to find on Amazon. You could also just get white feathers and spray paint them. Spray paint is necessary for this project. So what I did basically was I started, I'll show you guys up close, I started layering the feathers in the front here and then I worked backwards like under them. So I put all the glue like here, worked backwards, glued it under, if you can kind of see, and then glued it around. I thought about maybe adding them like up for a little like feathery front, if you feel what I mean, but um, Honestly, I tried it on, I loved it. And then, so once I had the feathers on, you could probably do this step beforehand. I picked up a thing of spray paint from Michaels. It's our Canadian craft store. I think you are in the US, but honestly, just any store that sells spray paint. This is the one I got. It's the Krylon Color Max Paint Primer Metallic Gold. Um, so yeah, once I had all the feathers on, I literally just spray painted the bra. It's not perfect, but Who's gonna look at your costume and be like, oh my god, you know? Um, spray painted the straps and everything, the buckle. And then I just bought some like gold ribbon from Michaels. And just did that around the front. Make it look a little cleaner. Yeah. Moving on to the skirt, I was absolutely stressed on how I was gonna do this. Like, was gonna give up. So what I ended up doing, this is a skirt, is a tutu. So I found the fluffiest tutu that I could find because I really wanted the feathers to like sit out on my body. Let me move back here. Really wanted them to like sit out when I wore it. So I found a super like frilly tutu. Did a horrible job spray painting it. Okay. <laughs> so the white tutu on Amazon was $45 and I was that who's paying that. Black one, $17. So got the black one and then I just spray painted it to the best of my ability. If I would have put actual time in, I feel like I could have I could have done this a lot better, but I just couldn't be bothered. You know, I was like, whatever. So it adds a little bit of like a metallic tinge to the bottom, and then I just hot glue, babes. Oh yeah, that's another thing I did with the bra. You need hot glue, okay? Hot glue, super essential. I got my gun at Dollarama. It was like four dollars plus the glue, super cheap. So I started hot gluing. I did the top layer first, so I kind of just like laid the skirt flat like that and then just started hot gluing feathers all the way around. I did need about two packs of feathers, um, so I recommend to get more than you need. This is probably a really bad tutorial. I've never done tutorials before. Okay, I should have filmed it, shown you all the process, but here we are. <laughs> um, 
And then, so after all that was on, I just went through and took more feathers and I cut all the like tips off the feathers to make it like look cleaner. Um, and then just glued them like underneath. Some places I like hot glued the thing together and like some places like, like you can see here, it's kind of separating. It's doesn't really look like that when it's on, but if you want to be perfectionist, you can. I don't really care. It looks bomb as fucking photos. So anyways, that's the skirt, super easy to do. Okay, and these are the wings that I ended up using in the costume. So I kind of cheated because um, these wings are actually from Fashion Nova. They were silver though, so I just spray painted them gold. You can kind of see like some of the edges didn't turn out exactly perfect. Um, I just went over, spray painted these, spray painted the bands. Um, you could DIY these. It's honestly like all preference. So I went to Spirit Halloween with my mom. I was like, mom, this is the vision. This is what I'm gonna do. She's like, okay. We picked up these wings and they're not bad. I honestly just needed like a base for the wings and then I was gonna glue a bunch of feathers onto them. I feel like you could kind of wear them either way. Like if I did them like this and then just like feathered out, I even thought about like cutting them so they were more like, like cutting them and re-gluing them so they went out further. Um, don't love the color, like the color of this compared to the costume, like it could have spray painted them. There's so many ways you can do wings. Like I'm sure there's tutorials on how to make your own wings. Luckily enough, um, these came in one of my costumes from Fashion Nova. So I just spray painted them. They turned out really good. And to be honest, like I'm literally just wearing these for pictures. Like these are not practical to be at the club in. So, um, yeah, those are my wings. Okay, the last part that I kind of DIY'd for it is this headpiece. I looked on Amazon for like bridal floral headpieces. I looked at Spirit Halloween, I couldn't find anything. I ended up picking this one up from Value Village and it was originally green. Um, so I did spray paint this one, but it worked out really well. It's just like a subtle little headpiece. Yeah, super easy. I just spray painted one side, flipped it, spray painted the other side and then just like touched it up. But I feel like there's so many ways you can do headpieces. You can even make one if you get like a ring and then I thought about like gluing feathers onto it too, but I didn't want it to take away from like the costume and I also got lazy. Okay, and the last step here is accessories. I got super lazy and just picked a bunch of stuff up at Spirit Halloween. Um, there are like websites I've heard that you can order stuff on Amazon, but I was just, I needed to see it in person. so. I wish I got more of these, but I think this is like $10. So like, to be honest, like who's gonna buy like five of them? Um, so the, I got this like little snake cuff. It's really cute. And it just like sits, right? Okay, ready for the cute part? I mean, that is cute, but I got these little like snake earrings from Spirit Halloween as well. To go with it. Um, definitely the vibe. One thing that I feel like you just need as a Greek goddess is leg wraps. So these are from Spirit Halloween. These were $17, I believe. Like I said, I feel like you could do this a lot cheaper. You could probably even make these, like just tie ribbon around your legs. Um, but I picked these up. They just wrap around your legs, super easy. And honestly, I bricked up and forgot about shoes. So I just wore my white boots. I feel like sandals would definitely be the move, but like if you're going to a club, I don't do open-toed shoes in clubs, so boots it is. And honestly, that's it. I'm gonna film a video tomorrow of like my night out wearing this costume and a little bit of like my get ready with me. Um, I can do like a full in-depth makeup tutorial of it if anyone's interested to see like, I just gold eyeshadow glitter. Glitter's a must, still getting glitter off. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Are you guys like the random miscellaneous supplies I picked up? So like, hot glue gun, stupid amount of glue sticks, cause I think I went through like seven sticks making this, which actually isn't that bad. What else is in here? I picked up this paint and these paint brushes cause I really thought I was gonna be able to paint the bra. Don't know why didn't work at all um and i did like use a little paint on the front just to, like touch up the feathers but it's a do it as you go kind of thing and see what happens yeah i got this ribbon 
which honestly I wanted to put over the top of the skirt like around there <laughs> but I felt like it would look tacky so I was like no I really hope this video helped anyone trying to DIY I know I posted this super late because I am lazy and sometimes really suck at this whole content creating thing but hi um yeah if you have any questions you can DM me on Instagram Kendra A Bro, I'm happy to help even though I literally have no idea what I'm doing and just wung it um yeah i think that's pretty much it i will link everything that i used down below um and like details but it's such a slay if you recreate this for next year because um posted this on halloween uh let me know and yeah let me know if i can help anyway okay love you thanks for watching uh stay tuned for my halloween vlog it'll be posted in a few days Let's see. Let's see how the night goes. And I'm telling you guys about the vlog because that means that I actually have to do it. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.